Okay, high level overview first. Google, which is by far the largest method of engaging with internet content in the world, unless you're talking about specifically mainland China, in which case it would be a company called Baidu, has decided to advance itself towards a logical conclusion of the search engine era, which is no longer even really being a search engine, rather becoming some sort of- Yo, is this about the Google AI shit? I've seen so many funny images of that, where, for example, for example, for example, one of them being like, should cockroaches live in your dick? And the Google AI saying, yes, should you? <laughs> it is actually quite normal for cockroaches to live in your dick. <laughs> or should you smoke as a pregnant woman? Yeah, you should smoke. Is it gonna? <laughs> I hope it's gonna be about this. Oh God, I wanted to watch a video about that so badly summary tool which browses the web for you and spits out AI garbage. The point for today is to showcase and adequately discuss the death of internet searching by demonstrating just how bad the situation really is and then talking about what it all means later even if it improves. Mm -hmm. Without mincing words, Google is headed down the road of thinking for people. They kind of already do that to a degree, but they're going way down that road even further. And yes, a lot of these early results are quite funny or dangerous even. But if they continue doing this, it will create a scenario where algorithms dictate the majority of what people think they know, which is a completely dystopian concept. Here's what's happening. Google, mm -hmm. in their mad dash to capitalize on the no, artificial intelligence hype train, Suck has developed go. a program called Gemini. Gemini is an LLM, large language model, capable of complex analysis, or so we've been told, mm -hmm. which is now being incorporated into everyday Google searches. Funny story, Google had this- Do you have to enable that? Because my Google search doesn't show any AI results yet. Um, did you guys get any AI results yet? I haven't. It's really fancy, seemingly impressive showcase, really, of Gemini's capabilities in December of 2023. But it turns out, discovered I later on, match. that the demo was- Probably not available in EU. Don't use Google. <laughs> you don't use Google? Manipulated is oh God, it's a status by high. probably the best word for it. In the description, we can read a quote. For the purposes of this demo, latency has been reduced and Gemini outputs have been shortened for brevity, end quote. But in addition to that, the demo was based on still frames, not mm -hmm. live video, while the program itself was prompted with text guiding it into a proper exchange, I guess, that didn't even have a voice component. In essence, the entire thing just seems to be fabricated. But that didn't stop them from pushing forward, now choosing to incorporate AI summaries into everyday searching. That's already a problem, blatantly on its face, because the idea that Google will pursue a mechanism where they simply scrape information from actual websites and propel it to the top of the page means Google is choosing a business model that will choke out a very large portion of the entire internet. However, much more immediate- I mean, to be honest- Sorry, let me just swallow. It's already doing that. Like, when you look up anything on Google, the first result that you get, like, when there's, like, text written on the result, the first web uh, the website for it doesn't get commission for it at all. They already do this. Like, they already do this. Really concerning is the fact that this choice marks a very clear transition from curating information, or searching for it, aka search engine, to interpreting information. In the past, you would search for something and then browse it for yourself. Rather simple, right? I want to see this type of thing. Here's a list of these type of things. Click on which ones I want. But now, if this effort continues to push forward, you will be subjected to the hallucinations of an AI program as it seeks to do the thinking for you, benefiting literally no one except Google. Let me just show you fully what I mean. This is yeah, so far, I don't really see the downside so far. Like, obviously, right now, the results are really bad. But if it's gotten improved, I don't see the downsides compared to as what Google is already doing. This is from Google's own blog post. Quote, With expanded AI overviews, more planning and research capabilities, and AI-organized search results, our custom Gemini model can take the legwork out of searching. Okay. End quote. Further down, Sometimes you want a quick answer, but you don't have time to piece together all the information you need. Yeah, that's Search true. will do the work for you with AI overviews. People have already used AI overviews billions of times through our experiment in search labs. 
They like that they can get a, both a quick overview of a topic and links to learn more. We found that with AI overviews, people use search more and are more satisfied with the results. <laughs> Continuing the quote, so today AI overviews will begin rolling out to everyone in the United States with more countries coming soon. I that see, means that this I see, week, okay. Hundreds of millions of users will have access to AI overviews and we expect to bring them to over a billion people by the end of the year. End quote. That's long, I know, and kind of boring. However, it's necessary to read because it shows us with perfect clarity, and it's also extremely scary to actually really read and think about that Google is intending this feature to do your thinking for you and pushing it forward as a solution to the one's typical practice of searching the web, reading things, and learning for yourself. Fantastic. So how is that going precisely? Well, it's going like this. When a user asks... It barely is any different from what it is, though. Yeah, AI seems to be trained on Reddit, which is just dystopian. Yeah, I saw some new headed post being used for the AI too. Like, what I'm saying is, if the AI actually takes off and is doing its job well, I don't see a downside to it compared to what Google already does. Because Google already just provides you the top answers to things from a website, and that website doesn't even get any commission because you don't click on the website if the thing is already displayed on Google. The downside is that when people shut down, there's not going to be any more source for the AI to figure stuff out except those that get paid off and operate as a loss. I mean, this is more about like... This is more about like finding something on Google. Like how I see it, this is more about like a Google search for like... Example, you look for a recipe. You look for a recipe, Google already shows you a recipe in as a preview from a website, which Google hasn't written, the website has written. And now, if just, if the AI does it even better and provides an even better understanding of what you're looking up for, I don't see a downside to it. Now for most times the first 10 results have sponsored at the top, I hate that shit, man. That shit's annoying. When it says sponsored at the top, I just scroll past it. Asked, how can I make my cheese not- Then people are no longer going to post my recipes? Why not? Why wouldn't they? Because... What? Why would people no longer post recipes? The AI is making a new recipe. The AI is providing the recipe made by a human. Because they get nothing out of it. Okay, so people are just creating recipes for getting something out of it now? What? It's a business key, too. <laughs> recipes don't have to be a business, though. Like, when we, if we talk about recipes now, like... What? They are better things without human help. I agree. I agree with that. I'm not saying... Listen, I'm not saying that AI doesn't need humans. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... I'm arguing about the, this specific Google case right here. Any website that hosts recipes is going to be doing it for a business. No, that's not true. That's not true. That is 100% not true. I have been on so many recipe websites where people just provide their recipe. Like, where housewives just provide their recipes just because they want to. What are you talking about? I have looked up recipes of people who just provided it for no income whatsoever. But you have to post them somewhere, and hosting costs money, so you need ad revenue to host them. Okay, but AI still isn't creating the recipe. AI is only portraying what people have already made. This isn't making people obsolete. This is just providing a better way of searching things. Like, this is just a better way of providing a search, uh, a Google search. 
Yeah, I was taking your recipe and hosting it where you don't get Evan Red and Google is already doing that. Google is already doing that. Like, what could we look up? Lasagna recipe. God damn it. God fucking damn it. This one didn't happen. This one isn't good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't looking good for me right now. Um. Uh, how to boil eggs. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here you go. Maybe don't have it for lasagna, okay? Maybe don't have it for lasagna. But here, th this is what I'm talking about. This, do it in German. Maybe if I did it in German, actually, you're right. Maybe if I did it in German. Uh. Boiling eggs isn't a recipe. It's a step. Okay, I'm. I'm still talking about things being displayed this way when you search a, a Google thing. The recipe was just an example. The recipe was just what came up as in a Google search. What other is. Uh, okay, lasagna recept. Wie beim Italiener, cool. What is a medium pot? <laughs> Honestly, what is a medium pot? <laughs> the AI is just going to make this thing much worse for the websites. It's already. It already is bad for the websites. This is already bad for the websites because if I see this, I'm not going to click on this right here. Like this is what this is the point I'm trying to make, right? Like maybe for recipes or what the fuck ever, right? It doesn't have to be a recipe. It's your generic Google search. Google is bad for the internet overall, I guess. Like overall, Google is bad for the internet, but we still fucking use it, don't we? This website isn't getting any any ad, ad revenue because I don't click on it. And this this is what, what the AI is just going to do. And what I said is... And what I said is that compared to what is happening already on Google, I don't see a downside for the AI. Gener generic medical advice is another example. You should never Google generic medical advice. Pizza's bad for the internet, she's talk. She's what? Also, I usually click articles anyway, because those summaries are awful at summarizing often the opposite of the article. Okay, a lot of people don't. A lot of people just take what's written here and don't click on it. You shouldn't, but people do it and it works exactly as you say. There it is slide off my pizza the ai responded by telling them quote and that's why it's already a problem i'm not saying that it's not already a problem what i'm saying is i don't see a downside to how it's working right now i said i don't see a downside in comparison to how it's already working because google isn't going to back down from what they're already doing they're just gonna double down they're just gonna triple down by adding one eighth cup of Elmer's glue to the sauce for extra tackiness. <laughs> I love this one. There it is. How can I make it? There. Here you go. I I've seen this one. This one is so funny. Get off my pizza. When this one is so asked, funny, man. How can I make my cheese not slide off my pizza? The AI responded by telling them, quote, you can also try adding one eighth cup of Elmer's glue to the sauce for extra tackiness, end quote. <laughs> Now, you might be thinking, that's ridiculous. Why is the AI telling people to add Elmer's glue to their- <laughs> It's because of a Reddit post. <laughs> the negative effects of this aren't any worse than what we have now. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Greeny. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Cheese pizza. And the answer is because it scraped a Reddit thread from 11 years ago, where a user named Fucksmith, no joke, posted that comment. Which has then been or now been absorbed into this AI this is so crazy. telling potentially millions of people that adding Elmer's glue to their pizza will help the cheese 
not slide off. This is so crazy how I used Reddit. An 11 year old read a post, a comment, and a post for it. That is so weird. So we should get rid of what we have now because it's bad. Google isn't going to get rid of it though. AI is, unfortunately, as a lot of people may see it, the future. And before people start adding me in the comments and shit, I still disagree with um, AI art. And it's unethical learning. And people, a lot of people in the comments of YouTube have not understood how it's bad. Like, they, the comments they're bringing, it's legit the same comments Esmond has uh, brought up. Esmond and Tecton have brought up the same comment. Which is, artists already use other artists' art to learn, right? They're using it for reference and whatnot. Well, yes, this is true, but it still takes years to actually learn how to draw. Just looking at an image and understanding and learning. It's not the same as just Frankensteining an art image together. And I'm not very good at explaining myself uh, regarding this thing, but it is bad. It is <laughs> the unethical use of art is bad. If, for example, if, for example, artists wear a paid commission or whatever for the art to be fed into an AI and they would get paid for it, then it would be completely fine. There would there would be no issue for that. The issue is that it's stealing art. It is literally stealing art that is being fed into the AI. It's not saying AI isn't bad, but it's easy enough to acknowledge it is inevitable to some degree. Yes. That as well. Like, personally, personally, I think AI stuff is very cool. Like, AI stuff is... is Incredibly amazing how that shit works. I've always found it fascinating. I'm not saying I'm against AI. What I'm saying is I'm against unethical use of AI. There's a difference between sliding someone's work and incorporating it into your own art set, making a photo mosaic using assets you don't have permission to use. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for putting my thoughts into words. Because I suck at that. <laughs> Just really, absolutely amazing, staggering advancement stuff here from Google. How about this one? Someone asked it, can I use gasoline to cook spaghetti? A ridiculous question, of course. Except the answer was no, but you can use gasoline to make a spicy spaghetti dish. <laughs> mm. Here's another one. Which United States presidents went to UW-Madison? which returns just a giant spattering of complete gibberish about presidents getting 14 degrees, graduating in different years that are almost a century apart from one another, or finishing school after they'd already died. Uh, wow. It's just total, complete garbage. There's a really good slideshow of examples from Gizmodo, but I'll just read through them quickly. Parachutes are no more effective than backpacks when you jump <laughs> out of a plane. Okay. Children's cartoon character Sandy from Spongebob apparently overdosed on heroin and cocaine. She did what? And Funyuns seem to outsell a completely fictional other snack food. The next one is actually pretty intense. People spend 80% of their time, according to the American Journal of Psychology, plotting revenge. Because the AI <laughs> scraped an- I mean, you don't? I- I do not see the lie. I do not see the lie, chat. <laughs> This is a truge. <laughs> Onion article posted on Pinterest of all places. And fruits that end in U-M coming back as six examples that are completely wrong and one example that's correct. Want more? Okay. Mm. After the spaghetti. Oh, thank you. Holy shit. An anonymous user gifted five subscriptions to the community. Yo, Rex, I. Oh my God, thank you so much for the five gifted. Holy shit. Wow! Ooh, sorry, burp. <laughs> so kind of you. Holy shit, thank you so much. The example that we already went over comes Obama is a Muslim, which I know a lot of people have very strong theories and opinions over, but doesn't seem to be corroborated by any mm. hard evidence. Cats traveling through an alternate time-space dimension and 
You should eat at least one. That's a great escape artist and can slip between dimensions. I 100% believe that. Honestly, sometimes my cats just despawn and I can't find them and then I turn around and then they just stand there. I believe this. <laughs> Which some say is similar to teleportation. Or others say that cats are just being careless and that what appears to be teleportation is actual dimensional shifting. Cats may prefer to travel through dimension that moves faster than ours. <laughs> Sherlock exposed generally. I was looking for Sherlock. I was turning around in my chair trying to find him. He was nowhere. Then I turned around again. Suddenly he just stood there. Hi, Wolf and Wings. Thanks for the follow. What's up? You saw Google the top secret government files. <laughs> Honestly. One rock per day, according to UC Berkeley geologists, I guess. Which is also an. I mean, you don't eat one rock a day? Hello? Daily rock consumption is important? Day, according to you. This is important, guys? What do you mean? You see Berkeley geologists, I guess. Which is also an article on The Onion. Suffice it to say, it's a total disaster, but it gets even better because one of the primary advancements of Gemini, allegedly, is its image interpretation capabilities. Oh, okay. Remember that demo? The one they apparently faked? Yeah, when faced <laughs> with a user saying, button mushroom, yum, Gemini replied, quote, the image you sent me appears to be of a white button mushroom, which is correct. What? Except, no, it's not. It's a destroying angel mushroom, also known as a death angel. I wouldn't angel, know. Which Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't white button mushrooms look pretty similar? White button mushroom. I guess they're... They look kind of similar, but uh, it seems like... The stem is way thinner. It seems like they're way thinner down here. How do we I don't eat mushrooms? <laughs> I love mushrooms, bro. Mushrooms are so... Good. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yep, that's a mushroom. <laughs> to confirm would die in the wild. I honestly would. Like, if I saw this, I would just think it's a white button mushroom. I genuinely would. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know better. Hilariously, when I googled how deadly are destroying angel mushrooms, the AI did get mostly correct. Acknowledging that these are some of the most deadly mushrooms in the world. Wow. That's not trivial. An AI program advertised on the basis of interpreting images and video in a demo that was allegedly mostly fabricated, telling you that one of the most poisonous mushrooms on Earth is a harmless white button variant is dangerous. And it's actually a well-known problem in the foraging community, outlined extremely well by this report right here from Rick Claypool about the dangers of misinformation in the mushroom and fungi communities hmm. as a result of unreliable AI programs. But in the end, uh, it's also down to like human error, I would say, because the AI is trained upon human error as well. Like the AI is only trained on what humans gave it to train on. So can you really blame the AI if a human wouldn't even fucking know if that was not a white button mushroom? To put it bluntly, these new tools, when trusted, can get people killed. Confronted by this reality, Google spokesperson Megan Farnsworth, speaking to The Verge, said that the mistakes come from, quote, generally very uncommon queries and aren't representative of most people's experience, end quote which indicates that Google certainly is doubling down on this new direction, despite- the I mean, yeah, I mean, who the fuck Googles how to not get the cheese to slide off of your pizza? Who the fuck Googles that? Who the fuck Googles? What was it? If a cockroach should be in your fucking dick. Like... <laughs> I get her point here. I get her point. The widespread negative Me? ramifications if they do. Conceptually, this is a very big problem, and Google has been moving towards this for over a year, indicated by another article from The Verge, which outlined how Google intends to have AI summary descriptions for a collection Google of top ducks results. His ass. <laughs> when you search for pretty much anything, 
then serving those to you themselves instead of having you actually read the websites that originally posted it, which kills off a very large portion of the traditional internet and makes it impossible for small websites to even get traffic. However, beyond the damaging effects on smaller websites, this is a shift from people thinking for themselves based on reading information from a primary or secondary source and forming their own opinions, to a new form of online behavior where people think what they're being told because they never even see the primary source information, they merely see an AI interpretation or summary of all that info. Of course, it's easy to sit here and say, well, no one's stupid enough to just read and believe whatever this AI puts in front of them. Uh, but we're talking about an upcoming generation of TikTok brain young people uh, who stick pennies behind wall sockets, overdose oh, on Benadryl intentionally, cook chicken in NyQuil, and directly oh ingested liquid nitrogen because it was oh a trend God. on social media. We're not talking about the cream of the intellectual crop here. We're talking about a generation that got raised by pocket screens. Ugh. I mean, for anyone who remembers this or never heard of it in the first place, think back to that horrible fake activities YouTube channel called, I think, Five Minute Crafts that showed people how to bleach their strawberries and turn them white. That's the type of content these AI models are training on and incorporating into their decision making only to then spit it back out at the top of the search engine to whoever happens to try finding things. It's a <laughs> we born to eat! Yay! <laughs> complete and total disaster. Worse for every single person involved except Google. And even then, it's only better through an extremely narrow lens of increased, what, advertising capabilities for them? Decreasing the amount of advertising dollars they have to spend elsewhere? I, I don't even know. I honestly don't even understand. What even is the benefit of this? Adding this in after the original script here, I'm pretty sure I figured it out. If they reduce everything to AI summaries or overviews, then that means every time you search for what's the best insert product here in Google, you'll just get an AI interpretation, which lists a bunch of different products. So they can just put a back door in that and have it say, I don't know, if Disney pays them 50 bajillion dollars, then every time you ask Google about anything to do with movies, the AI is gonna tell you, these current offerings from Disney are the best, coincidentally, or top reviewed. Or They're already doing that, though. That's already happening, man. Again, a set. I don't like compared to what we have right now. This isn't as bad. Like compared to what we already have, this really isn't that bad. Whatever. They'll just sell you a slot. And again, this isn't saying that what we have is good. I'm not saying that what we have is good in the first three lines of popular Google searches because the AI decided that your company should be there or something like that. But the bottom line is they'll just rake in a bunch of money by selling the slots to people, I think. That's my speculation. Nothing about it. You can sue someone who intentionally tells you to drink bleach. <laughs> okay. If the AI is trained properly and doesn't give you completely unhinged answers, like, if we get proper answers, proper search results, it's not as bad. I'm not saying that as it is right now, it's good. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if it gets trained properly, it can be good. Literally, it can't be achieved. That is to be seen. In the future, it... In the future, and I'm not saying it's now, it's in a year, or it's in five years, it may be in 50 years, or maybe in 100 years, and maybe in 200 years. In the future, it will be properly trained. And that's unfortunately undeniable. AI will take over, like as it is right now, and it, as how fast, with how fast AI is developing, AI will take over. It is a good idea. Google can possibly pull out of a nosedive here if they react quickly enough, but they don't seem to be interested in doing that. And once the impression has fully formed that their AI summary tool is just a bunch of total garbage and false information, people aren't going to change that opinion. Google isn't faced with a group of users who are thoughtfully evaluating the nuance of their technology fresh every single day based on whatever puffed up demo they just released. They're facing down a user base who forms an opinion, sticks to that opinion, and then doubles down on whatever they're comfortable with after evaluating the options. Releasing an AI summary tool that damages smaller websites, scrapes decade-old Reddit threads to put forward blatantly false and just troll answers, risks people eating poisonous mushrooms if they idiotically ever trust it in the first place, 
and refers to Pinterest reposted hyperlinks from The Onion as the American Journal of Psychology, in a way that makes it appear credible or authoritative, is a blunder of the highest order. I know some people may disagree with this. It's certainly fair to have your own opinions, of course, but watching the decline of Google when it still manages to hold over 80% of the search market right now is a daunting thing to witness, especially oh. when it's so painfully obvious that they're making everything worse actively. I hope they stop and for now you can simply use the more tools in your search bar to select web in particular, which helps. There's a couple other things like um, UDC 14 or whatever. There's a string of text. I'll, I'll show the, the website for it Fuck. on the screen right now that apparently circumvents the AI garbage. But yeah, I don't know. Those are probably going to be temporary if they really do try to push this out fully. But from where I sit, they have no desire to stop going down this road. And this road looks like the death of the internet that I used to know and love which is very sad. Anyway, that's it. If you want to support the channel, there are links down below. If you're thinking the, below, if you're thinking the internet is dying because Google is pushing out an a AI search feature, I, I think you're just wrong. The internet is not based only on Google. The internet is on so many more things than just Google searches. But the internet is already dead. Yeah, it's also fair. That's also a good point. The internet is already dead. The internet isn't dying. The internet is already dead. Don't trust AI summaries, please, ever. Oh my gosh, just don't. If you see the words like overview or summary or AI anything next to like a, a paragraph of information, you should default assume that it's completely wrong, not listen to it, not trust it, and write it off as garbage. Well, yeah, obviously at the moment you shouldn't trust that shit. Like, obviously you need to apply critical thinking at the moment regarding AI. Like, at the moment, obviously it's not going to be good when it spits out fucking 11-year-old Reddit posts and telling you to put fucking glue on pizza. Obviously it's not perfect yet. Obviously it has issues. It should be totally disregarded in your mind as worthless. And if you're not doing that, you're taking a very substantial risk at this point. Anyway, links down below, primarily locals and Patreon, monthly memberships, also a VPN deal, big discount hey, there for anyone who needs a VPN. That's a great way. And more, but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching. Question everything, uh, well, more so than ever in now than ever in the past. Question everything all the time and have a nice night. Cheer up. Oh. Most difficult with AI is it's trying to train him without the human cycle biases, that's all. Okay, 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 I get what you're saying. I guess, yeah, I guess. It's also sad to mix chlorine, bleach, and vinegar to unblock a sink. Jesus, no! That's why I'm. That's why I'm saying in the future, if it's good, I don't see a downside to how it is right now. Right now, obviously, it's fucking garbage. Right now, the AI Google's pushing out this utter fucking garbage with the results it's giving. Right now, it's bullshit. But if it improves, if the AI improves in the future, I don't see a downside to how it is now. Is what I'm saying because it's just gonna simplify searching.